Hi. Uh, wait, we don't have a guest. We don't have a guest for this episode. Oh, oh that looks dangerous. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where is she? There she is. <laughs> Stephanie Ben Dixon, gamer, author, hero of the space time continuum. Nick Richardson, last of my kind, handy with a wrench, human PlayStation mascot. Today we are checking out the newest PS5 exclusive Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. A graphical powerhouse, an audio triumph, and a dual sense delight. Steph, are you ready to ratchet? I mean, only if you're ready to clank. No one's ever asked me. Thank you so much. <laughs> of our parade, Ratchet, Ratchet and Clay! It's such a cool world they've created, isn't it? Look at the amount of stuff that they've crammed in. <laughs> I was about to say, there's so much colour, and you get such a good sense of scale as well. They've got to a point where they're like, this is probably enough, and then they've been like, no, you know what? No. <laughs> Twice as much. Yeah, and... Twice as much stuff. And confetti can. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, the crates. Oh, it's so satisfying. More confetti. Hey, I think I found the wombat. Have they crashed our party? They have. No. I like how everyone is still waving and clapping. It's well, maybe really they right. think it's part of the show. Ratchet, I do not believe this is part of the show. With all the explosions and stuff flying around, it's cool to be able to feel it, like kind of rippling through the controller as well. <laughs> Who's your favourite, Ratchet or Clank? I think Clank just has a a sweet politeness mm -hmm, to him, mm -hmm. and he's also kind of like the brains of the operation. Again, look at all the stuff. Look at the stuff coming at us. <laughs> Poor Clank. <laughs> Need a weapon? Mrs Zircon has it all. Yes, let's go shopping now. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, can we afford it? You can, you've got 1,300 volts. <laughs> Incoming. We just wanted to have a nice parade, That's true. celebrate us. So half pull down gives me like a single shot. Yep, oh, full pull, baby. both barrels. Yeah. Good, good, baby. There's even little like rifting sounds that come out of the speaker in the controller too. The controller is basically its own console. It is. My memory of these games is that you end up with so many guns and weapons that it's like hard to choose what you want to use at any given moment. So this is a rift. Did you see that? We didn't go into another dimension, we just teleported across the bridge effectively. Next stop, nefarious. Yes, grapple. Now I can just fly around the city. Oh my, oh my god, was that, was that a giant alien walrus? Oh man, oh, there are bad things coming out of those rifts. So this is like, oh my gosh. This is a look at, like, it's basically a tease for almost every level in the, the game oh coming my, up. Oh my, yep, yeah, okay, great. It's insane. <laughs> What a great intro to the game. I know. A parade, action, rifts, three weapons. Three weapons? And it's just like that, didn't even see the, that's pre-intro. Steph, you have torn apart the very fabric of space and time. What did you think of Rift Apart? There is a lot going on in like the best possible way. <laughs> It's almost hard to take it all in because there's just so much in terms of like how much is happening on screen, all of the different kind of um, combat mechanics that you keep picking up so quickly mm -hmm. as soon as you start playing. And then how good it looks, like all of the kind of size and scope of the city and the lighting is just amazing. And what a start for the PlayStation life cycle to start with a game like this. Mascot games can sometimes be a little bit hit or miss, mm -hmm. but I think they've hit all the right notes with all the nostalgia and all the kind of hallmarks of what make Ratchet and Clank so great, mm -hmm. and yet they've pushed it to the absolute limit in terms of like what a next gen game should look like. Which makes me think that if this is what this is looking like now, in like five years time, I can't even, my brain can't actually fathom what games are gonna look like on the PS5 then. <laughs> well, in five years time, will you come back and again be the Ratchet to my Clank? Yeah, definitely. All right, Steph, it has been awesome having you in my own little universe, but it's probably time you head. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, just uh, hold this for a second. All right, I don't know what to do. <laughs>